Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about Lauragi palm. What is this drug Lauragi palm? The suffix palm indicates this drug belongs to the category of benzodiazepines and here Lauragi palm is a short acting benzodiazepine. So this drug works at a duration of 12 to 18 hours. So it is having short duration of action compared with other benzodiazepines. Here we can analyze the name of this drug with suffix, prefix as well as infix. Here the suffix palm indicates positive allosteric modulator. So lorazepam is a positive allosteric modulator acting on the GABA A receptors. So it is binding to the GABA A receptors at an allosteric site, the site other than the binding site of GABA and it is going to promote the action of GABA thereby it is acting like positive modulator. That's why palm indicates positive allosteric modulator. The infix AG indicates it is having the two nitrogens diaza. So it is a benzo diazepine where seven member ring system is having two nitrogens. And the prefix lor indicates it is having a chloro group. This chlorine group is an electron withdrawing group which is required for the activity and it is present at the seventh position as well as on the phenyl ring at the fifth position. So within the name of this drug we can identify this information. So lorazepam is a chlorine containing benzodiazepine which acts as a positive allosteric modulator on GABA A receptors. Then what is the use of this drug lorazepam? Just like the other benzodiazepines this drug is used in the management of anxiety disorders. So it can be given for long term up to four months it can be used to control the anxiety in the patients. Similarly, it can be used to control anxiety that is associated with depression in the patients. Many of the times depression may lead to anxiety in the patients which can be treated by this lorazepam but at the same time lorazepam cannot treat the depression. So this drug should be combined with the antidepressants in order to control both anxiety as well as depression. Now let us see the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of lorazepam. We can easily identify the benzodiazepine ring system. So let us give the numbering from the nitrogen. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here it is having the chlorine group at the 7th position. That's why it is having the prefix lor which indicates chlorine group is present. And now the ring system is benzodiazepine with nitrogens at 1st and 4th position. So this is 1,4 benzodiazepine with ketone group at the 2nd position. We can write this as 1,4 benzodiazepine 2 ohm. Then chlorine group is present at the 7th position. We can write this as 7 chloro. And another chlorine group is present on the phenyl ring attached at the 5th position. We can write this as 5 dash 2 chlorophenyl. And finally, third position is having the hydroxyl group. Because of this hydroxyl group, this lorazepam is a short acting benzodiazepine. The presence of this OH group makes this molecule somewhat polar in nature. So it can be directly conjugated and excreted without any significant phase 1 metabolism. That's why this drug is short acting benzodiazepine. Now we can write this OH group at the third position as 3-hydroxy. Then saturation is present at first and third position, so 1,3-dihydro. So that is a complete name of lorazepam. Now let us see how this drug acts. Within the CNS, different types of mediators are present. One of the excitatory neurotransmitter is the glutamate. This glutamate can act on the AMP receptors which are expressed on postsynaptic membrane. So when the calcium enters into the presynaptic neurons, glutamate can be released by exocytosis and it can act on the AMP receptors. When these receptors are activated, they can allow the sodium. So this sodium can produce depolarization of the postsynaptic neuron. So this is the excited response which can be controlled by GABA A receptors expressed on postsynaptic membrane. So these GABA A receptors are inotropic receptors coupled with chloride channels. Now GABA is the inhibitory neurotransmitter within the CNS. It can bind to the GABA A receptors which opens the chloride channels. So chloride ions can enter into the membrane resulting in the inhibitory response. But in the patients with anxiety and sleep disorders, 
this GABA response is not sufficient. In such conditions, we can give Lorazi palm. This Lorazi palm can bind to an allosteric site on the GABA receptors, which promotes the opening of chloride channels. So, chloride ions can enter into the membrane, resulting in the significant inhibitory response. Now, this is the postsynaptic membrane which is expressed with the GABA receptors. These GABA receptors are inotropic receptors and they are pentameric in nature. They are made up of five subunits such as alpha, beta, gamma. Now, GABA can bind to these GABA receptors. This action of GABA is going to be promoted by Lorazi palm. Now, Lorazi palm can bind to an allosteric site on the GABA receptors which promotes the binding of GABA on the GABA receptors. Now, GABA can bind to the two sites between the alpha and beta gamma subunits such that it can open the chloride channels. Now, chloride ions can enter into the postsynaptic membrane which produce hyperpolarization. So, this is an inhibitory response resulting in the decreased anxiety, increased sedation, increased hypnosis, induction of sleep and amnesia loss of memory along with other effects such as muscle relaxation and loss of sensation can be observed with this Lorazi palm. Now let us see the precautions of this drug. One of the important precautions of Lorazi palm is that this drug can inhibit the action of respiratory system. So in the patients who are having sleep apnea syndrome where bronchoconstriction can be observed during the sleep or in patients with COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. In such patients, Lorazi palm should be carefully given because it further reduces the bronchial activity which may result in the significant bronchoconstriction. Second important precaution of Lorazi palm is that this drug is a short acting benzodiazepine but still it can be metabolized by liver through the phase 2 reactions. So it can undergo conjugation reactions such that it can be converted into conjugated metabolites and after that these conjugated metabolites can enter into the renal system such that they are going to be excreted within the urine. Now in the patients who are having the decreased functionality of hepatic as well as renal system, this Lorazi palm may be accumulated within the serum which increase the sedative as well as hypnotic activities. So this drug should be carefully given to the patients with renal and hepatic dysfunction and the dose should be reduced based on the severity of the dysfunction. Similarly, Lorazi palm can increase the sedation in the patients as well as it can also produce the amnesia. So it should be carefully given in the elder patients and within the elders, the dose should be less than 2 mg. So in the elders, it should be used at low dose in order to minimize severe sedation, confusion and amnesia in the patients. Similarly, when this drug is given in the children, it can produce few of the effects such as increased anxiety, increased aggressiveness. So these are quite opposite to the actions of Lorazi palm. So all these are called as paradoxical effects. So Lorazi palm can further increase the anxiety and aggressiveness in the patients, particularly in the children. So care should be taken to monitor these side effects. And this drug is administered in the children with age greater than 12 years. What are the side effects? The important side effects of Lorazi palm are mainly related with the central nervous system. So it can produce sedation, dizziness, fatigue, drowsiness, amnesia, loss of memory, particularly this drug produces entrograde amnesia, loss of memory of current events and other side effects include confusion, disorientation, ataxia, loss of balance, asthenia, lack of energy, vertigo, reeling sensation. All this can be observed with this Lorazi palm because of inhibitory response on the CNS. How it is given? This drug is available as tablet form at different strengths 0.5 mg, 1 mg as well as 2 mg. The dose of the drug depends on the type of clinical indication. For the treatment of anxiety disorders, the initial dose is 2 to 3 mg per day which is given as divided doses either as twice daily or thrice daily. Similarly, for management of insomnia, the dose is variable from 2 to 4 mg per day, again divided as twice or thrice daily. So that's about this Lorazi palm. Lorazi palm is a short acting benzodiazepine. This drug is having OH group at the third position, which results in the polarity to the molecule. So this drug can be directly conjugated and excreted. That's why this drug is 
having short duration of action. This drug acts as a positive allosteric modulator on the GABA receptors, so it binds to an allosteric site, thereby it promotes the binding of GABA to the GABA receptors, which opens the chloride channels, resulting in the hyperpolarization, which results in decreased anxiety and increased sleep in the patients. This drug should be carefully given the elders, as this drug produces severe sedation and amnesia. So it should be used at a low dose less than 2 mg. Similarly, the patients with respiratory disorders such as COPD, this drug should be carefully given. In patients with any impairment of renal or hepatic function, again the dose should be adjusted. This drug produces mainly central side effects such as sedation, dizziness, drowsiness, fatigue, asthenia and some muscle incoordination and amnesia. And the dose of the drug variable from 2 to 4 mg per day. But in the elders, it should be given at a low dose less than 2 mg. So that's about this drug, Lorazepam. Pump. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.